Today on the Bitbox, we're going to talk about printing PDFs at home of different RPG and RPG related material. Stay tuned. Give me five. So this is intended to be a guide on printing your own materials at home. Some best practices and some experience tips and tricks that I've learned through printing hundreds if not thousands of pages of materials at home. I hope that you can avoid some of the mistakes I've made, save yourself some paper, save yourself some ink, and experience the joys of printing your own RPG and RPG related materials from home. Now there's different uh, reasons or different ways you might be printing stuff. Perhaps you uh, are using a free system like Bluehole. This is one I would recommend which is based off of, let me find it here, where'd it go? The 1977 Holmes edition rule set of D&D you might be interested in. It's a zero cost barrier to entry for yourself and your players. Blue Home, I'll put a link in the description. So maybe you're printing out a free system you've got or have a PDF or you bought through online. Maybe you are printing something that is no longer in print. These are the white box D&D reprints I did. Uh, to bring to Gary Con this year. And I even took some side-by-side -side pictures next to some real ones to show you how close this looks. This type of printing is called booklet style printing. And that is where uh, you can print uh, double-sided and, and really cut down on a lot of pages. You might even want to do this just to have a digest mini-sized uh, booklet of your own for whatever uh, you might be printing. Uh, now you also might want to be backing up your current materials. You already have uh, a rule set, you already have a module, and you want to just have some backups. Here's a case in point. These are the Moldve Cook Basic and Expert D&D &D rule sets. Now, why would I show you this? One, because very soon there's going to be an old school spin-off show on the Earl T. Gray network of shows coming up uh, and I want to give you a little taste of some of the materials we might cover. That's why I just showed you Blue Home and Home's Edition rules and I'm showing you this, but also in the rule book right here it says each rule booklet is drilled with holes so that if desired the pages may be cut apart and rearranged in a ring binder. To cut the pages apart either scissors or a razor knife and a ruler may be used. Whenever possible, the other rule booklets will be divided into the same eight parts to make it easy to combine into one larger set of rules. Every page of D&D basic rules are numbered B and the number and each page also lists the section it's from. So here's what all that is saying. Why don't you cut up these rules and rearrange them in a three ring binder. Now, this was written in about 1980, I believe, where people couldn't just print all this stuff at home. I don't have the heart uh, or want to have the expense of buying another set of these, cutting them up, when I have access to PDFs of these documents. So what I'm going to do is talk you through and show you how I will print out this same rule set. I'll give you some screen grabs of what I'm using, and I will also um, show you what the final product is. And now I will have a Moldve Cook basic expert set of the D&D rule set that's arranged as they recommend and suggest inside of the book and I didn't have to do anything to my uh, current current uh, nice books that I have laying here. So here we go I'm gonna get started and I'll talk you through what I'm doing. First tip I have found that Adobe Reader has been the most foolproof PDF reader and with the least amount of errors and it also allows you to do that booklet size printing as I mentioned before. So Adobe Reader is a great way to go if you're looking for a very reliable PDF reader that uh, will handle the information inside pretty well. Now to get started choose the range of pages you want to print. I'm not going to print the covers because I already have them. So I'm choosing the range and I'm first going to start with odd only. And then for the page order, 
I'm going to say reverse. Now, I even have a note on my printer to remind me of this because it took me a long time to remember. I would never remember between printings how to do this. So again, odd only, page order, reverse. Now, print all these out, flip the stack over, make sure you flip it uh, the long way so that you don't accidentally get all of this uh, goofed up in how it prints out when you do the following, which is select even only for the other side, and for the page order, pick normal. These are going to spit out and you will have great double-sided pages ready for you to use, put holes in, use in your binder, staple, give out, whatever you want to do. It's a great way to print double-sided your PDFs, Word docs, and all that other stuff. You just saved yourself some paper. If you did it right, that means you saved yourself some ink. Some extra tips that I will give you. Print all of the odd first. If you don't have to sit in front of the computer the whole time, that's fine on the odd pages. You still might get a paper jam or something, but the odd will print fine. I would recommend only print the even side that second side if you can be in close proximity because if there's a paper jam or if the printer accidentally grabs two pages at once the whole order is going to get goofed up and many many pages uh, of books that I've printed have gotten really wasted because I didn't uh, have a close enough eye or I thought oh there's no way that uh, I'm gonna have any printing problems you can also bend up the uh, paper before you put it back in after it's printed and kinda loosen the pages that's also a good idea but uh, uh, again if you can't be in front of the printer and keep in a close eye as it's happening only do page ranges of I'd say 10 at a time or really a range of how many pages would you be willing to waste and still feel good about it? Another consideration is if you want to print with color or in only black and white. If I dig into my settings, I can actually find one that says only use the black ink cartridge and those are the cheaper ink cartridges to refill and they're the cheaper ones, especially if you go to a place, Costco or Cartridge World or some type of place that can recycle and refill your uh, ink cartridges. Those things are about as expensive as liquid gold. So again, any way that you can save ink or use the cheaper ink when you can is a great idea. Okay, this is a look at the final printed Moldve Cook Basic Expert Rules. I'm very pleased with how it looks. I am very happy with how it all turned out. And I'm very happy that you decided to watch through this video. Thank you to all of you subscribers. Special uh, hello and I appreciate your support of this channel and what we're doing Hope to see you soon on the BitBox. Leave a comment if there's any other ideas or tips that you have for printing your own PDFs. All right, take care.